Okay, I hate to build a handyman. Today we're working on some whirlpools. This has what I call the plastic clamshell timer and it's getting stuck on the rinse cycle. And sometimes when this lit switch is not working correctly, for instance, if this lid switch is not working correctly, it will get stuck in the rinse cycle. But I was told that basically they stuck a screwdriver in here and activated the lid switch and there was no problem. And you can look at the lid switch from this angle and we can see that the lid switch is intact. It's not falling apart and it seems to be working. And so what we can also do is take something in here and push down here to put a, a little bend in the lid so that tang pushes down a little bit farther and maybe bend that out a little bit so that it pushes down still not quite there but you get the idea we could also put some tape on this inner edge to solve that problem and then it is possible that we could put a bend in here to allow that to push that switch down but this is most likely the culprit i'm going to attempt to rebuild this one and so basically in order to take that knob off you have to pull the knob out from the timer at the same time you hold this plastic tang in and that will disengage the knob then there are there is one tang here that basically holds this thing in place once you push the tang then the timer should slide out and the power is off here and this video is for informational purposes only consult your local professional I would give phone advice for a fee $25 if you want you can call me 707-443-8347 Pacific Time and so anyway should pop out of here once we push that tang in it will slide slightly forward and it should come out of there okay so you can see that this has these little tangs right here on the sides Facing the, the 
the cog, the cog wheel, the um, parts of the cog wheel. <coughs> anyway, these points are actually not that bad. They're not welded together, but they're bad enough so they're black and so they could cause a problem. This one is definitely rebuildable. So it looks like there's only three contacts that are bad on this one. So, and then we put a drop of oil on all the moving parts. And after we clean up these points with some fine uh, sandpaper or amory cloth, then we'll just adjust the points in a little bit to close the tolerances. Okay, so I have some is it medium grade emery cloth I use. It's actually fairly fine grade. And you can see the points have cleaned up a little bit. And when we close the tolerances, we're not going to add much force to it. We're just going to just put a little pressure on them. Just to bring a little bit of the kind of natural curve to them. Um, Okay, this is a lubricant I recommend using. And I'm going to spray just a little bit on the moving parts and then we put it back together.